Hi there, let's have a look at another macro multiple choice question and see uh, how to get the right answer. So here's the question. The diagram below shows two aggregate demand curves and the short run aggregate supply curve for an economy. All other things being equal, get those powers, a fall in the price level from P1 to P2 could be explained by a fall in something. Well, the demand curve has shifted inwards, of course, the aggregate demand curve has moved from AD1 to AD2. So we're either looking for a fall in an injection of demand or a rise in a leakage of demand in the circular flow. Let's go through the answers. What about fall in imports? Well, imports, of course, is C plus I plus G plus X minus M. So a fall in imports actually increases aggregate demand. What about fall in interest rates? Well, other things being the same, interest rates normally is an expansionary monetary policy that would increase the demand. So that's wrong. What about a fall in labour productivity? Well, a fall in labour productivity basically affects supply rather than demand. Labour productivity is a supply side factor and that would cause an inward shift of aggregate supply. So that's not right. Now, the more observant, the more observant ones amongst you would have noticed that we're left with D. D is right. Fall in government spending will cause an inward shift of aggregate demand because, of course, government spending is part of the equation. AD equals C plus I plus G plus X minus M. Falling government spending would be an example of a contractionary or a deflationary fiscal policy. So that's how to answer this question.